Okay, hello, precious one. Once again, I welcome you to Kenya Agro Mathematics Classroom. And on this episode, we are also going to solve uh, these questions that you are given. Now, the question number one, the question says, under a linear transformation T of a plane, the image of 2 minus 4 is minus 10, 16. Minus 10, minus 16. That means that if the image of the point, this is that. So this is the point, this is the image. And that of minus 2, 3 is 6, 11. That means this is another point, this is another image. So we have to find the matrix T of the linear transformation. Then question two, we have to find the point whose image is 7 minus 6 under the linear transformation T of XY max to X prime, Y prime, where X prime is 8X minus YY and Y prime is 4Y minus 5X. And so we are first going to look at how best we can solve the first question. How best you can solve the first question. So the question is under the linear transformation T of a plane, the image of 2 minus 4. So let's look at the solution. The image of 2 minus 4 is minus 10 minus 16. And the image of the, sec the second point is minus 2, 3. This also maps to 6, 11. That means that we are given two points with their respective images. We have to find the matrix T. Now we can say that let the matrix T be equal to A, B, C, D. It's a two by two matrix. Now we are given the point, we are given the point and their images. We are given two points and their respective images and we have to find the matrix. So we are now going to look at how best we can find the matrix. And we are saying that let the matrix T be equal to A, B, C, D. So at the end of the so at the end of every calculation, when we are getting A, B, and C, and D, then we can see that the matrix T is whatever we are getting. So we know, we know, and take note of that, we know that when you multiply the matrix by the point, so the matrix is A, B, C, D, we are going to multiply this by our first point, and the first point is 2 minus 4. Then we are going to equate it to our image, that's minus 10, minus 16. And so how do you multiply? A times 2, this will give us 2A. B times minus 4 will give us minus 4B. We are done in the first row. C times 2 give us 2C. And D times minus 4 give us minus 4D. This will be equal to minus 10, minus 16. And so with this, equating the corresponding entries, you can say that the first row, 2A minus 4B, is equal to minus 10. And this will be your equation 1. Then 2C minus 4D will also be equal to minus 16. And this will be your equation 2. Take note that the first equation is in terms of A and B, and the second in terms of C and D, and we can solve these two. And so we also have to multiply the same matrix by the second point and equate to the image to get other two equations. And now, in doing that, in doing that, okay, so that matrix is A, B, C, D. So we are going to multiply by the second point. And the second point is minus 2, 3. So we have minus 2, 3. And this will be equal to the image is 6, 11. So we have 6, 11. Now A times minus 2 give us minus 2A plus B times 3 will give us 3D. Then we have C times minus 2 will give us minus 2C. Then D times 3 will give us 3D. And this will be equal to, we have 6, 11 as the image. So we can also equate the corresponding entries. Now the first row here, we have minus 2a plus 3b, and this will be equal to 6, and this is equation number 3. Then we also have minus 2c plus 3d, and this will be equal to 11, and this is equation number 4. So we can also see that equation 3 is in terms of a and b. Equation 4 in terms of C and D, and we can't solve these two. So we rather solve equation 1 and equation 3 simultaneously. Then we solve equation 2 and equation 4 simultaneously. And the values of A, B, C, and D will be out at the end of the calculation. And so when we get A, B, C, and D, then we say that that is the matrix T. That is all about the first question. That is all about the first question. And so now that is, now that we have these two equations, Let's see how best we can solve that. So 
we solve equation one and equation three simultaneously. Then we solve equation two and equation four simultaneously. So now that we have the data on the right hand side, now let's get the question one away since we have the information on the other side so that we'll be able to see how best you can solve the problem. Now, equation one and equation three. Equation one is 2a minus 4b equals minus 10. That is equation one. And equation three is minus 2a plus 3b is equal to 6. This is equation three. And how do you solve the two? How do you solve these two equations? Now, this is simultaneous equation. This is not matrices. So if you refer to my video on simultaneous equation, you understand this. But now we are going to, let me try to explain something to you. We are going to eliminate A so that you'll be able to find B. Now, the reason why I say we are going to eliminate A, you understand. When we add the two equations together, this is minus 2A. When we add it to 2A, the A will be gone and we can find B. And when we are getting B, we take it back into any of the equations and the value of A will also come out. Now, when you refer to my video in simultaneous equation, you understand what I'm saying here better. So we say equation 1 plus equation 3. So minus 2A plus 2A, the A is gone. Then we have minus 4B. Okay, now let me do it this way. So we have minus 2A plus 2A. That is minus 2A plus 2a, it will be gone. Okay, plus. Then we have 3b plus. We add it to this minus 4b. Okay, and this will be equal to 6 also plus. Don't forget it's minus 10. That's why we have to put them in brackets. So this will be gone. This should be gone. Now 3b minus 4b will give us minus b, and this is equal to 6 minus 10, and this will give us minus 4. So you have to know that because you are finding for B, we divide both sides by whatever constant is attached to B. And now we divide here by minus 1, minus 1. And our B will be equal to 4. Our B will be equal to 4. When you refer to my video on change of subject, you also understand what is really happening here. Now, when you get B to be 4, you can take B to be 4 in any of the equations you see there. And the value of A will also come out. Now... Don't forget that question. Equation 1 says 2a minus 4b equals minus 10. So we have 2a minus 4. Now b is 4. And this is equal to minus 10. So we have 2a minus 16 is equal to minus 10. And when we want to group the terms, we have 2a equals minus 10. Minus 16 on the left, you can plus 16 on the right hand side. And now, if this is what you have, if 2a, if 2a is equal to, let me continue it here. Now, if 2a is equal to minus 10 plus 16, will give us 6. So if you divide through by 2, then a will be 2 into 6 is 3. So the value of a is 3, as you can see there, and the value of b is equal to 4. So now we know a to be 3. And we know B to be 4. We are not done yet because we are left with C and D. So we also solve equation 2 and equation 4 simultaneously for the values of C and D. Then the matrix is out. That is all. And the matrix will be out. So that will be all. So now we are also going to look at how best we can solve equation 2 and equation 4 simultaneously. The same approach. Now let's look at it. I advise that you take the video back so that you'll be able to understand exactly what I'm saying. You can reverse the video so that you can get exactly what I'm saying. But what we are looking at now is no more matrices, but rather simultaneous equation. So equation two, with the equation two, we have 2C minus 4D is equal to minus 16. That's equation two. Then where is our equation four? Minus 2C plus 3D equals 11. Okay, so minus 2c plus 3d is equal to 11 and this is equation 4 this is equation 4 that is equation 4 don't forget that already we have gotten a to be 3 and b to be equal to 4 so we have a to be 3 and b to be equal to 4 so we are now looking for c and d 
Now we can also add these two equations together. That's equation two plus equation four, because minus two c plus two c will be off. Then minus four d plus three d will be minus d, and this is because minus sixteen plus eleven will give us minus five. And so here we divide by minus one minus one, and the value of d will give us five. Now that we are getting d to be five, we take d back into any of the equation for the value of c. So from equation two. Equation two says two C minus four D is equal to minus sixteen. Now D is five. So two C minus four times the five is equal to minus sixteen. And two C minus twenty equal four times five is twenty is equal to minus sixteen. Now to group the terms, you group the constant on the right hand side. So we have sixteen minus sixteen here. The minus twenty will be plus twenty here. So we have two C equals four. Now, if you divide through by 2, when you refer to change of subject, you understand what is happening here. 2 goes into 4 2 times. So, the value of C is 2. The value of D is 5. When we saw for A, we had A to be 3. We had B to be 4. So, it means that the matrix C equals A, B, C, D. And A is now 3. D is now 4. C is now 2. And D is now 5. And so, the matrix C is now out. The matrix C is now out. So that is how to solve the first part of the question. And I advise that if you are getting confused, you only reverse the video. Go back and start again so that you understand exactly what I'm talking about. Now let's continue. Now let's continue with the second question. Let's continue with the second question. Now with the second question, uh, the second question, you have to find the point whose image is seven minus six under the transformation T. Now the transformation we are given, we are given the transformation T of X, Y. This must be X prime, Y prime. Don't forget that the X prime has also been given to the eight X minus nine Y and the Y prime has been given to be 4y minus 5x. Okay, so we have c of xy, and this must be x prime is now 8x minus 9y, and the y prime is 4y minus 5x. This can also be written as, okay, it's 4y minus 5 Let's leave it like that. Now, we have to find the point whose image is, so we have to get the matrix first, and the matrix c will be equal to, before the comma, Coefficient of the x is 8, that of y is minus 9. Now, after the comma, the x first, take note. So, coefficient of the x term is minus 5. And so, you rather write the minus 5 before coefficient of the y, which is 4. So, take note, this is very, very important. If you bring your 4 here and minus 5 here, you are doomed. Everything you are going to do will be wrong. And so, take note that we have 8x minus 9y. 8 is the x coefficient. Minus 9 is the y coefficient. So when we come here, the first on the second row has also been the coefficient of the x. And that's why it is minus 5. And that of the y is 4. That's why we have 4 here. So we have to find the point. Whose image is this? So now, how do you find the point? You know that when you multiply the matrix 8 minus 9, you have minus 5 and 4. You multiply by the point. Let's say the point is B. And I guess you understand this because we solve questions like that. And this is equal to the image is 7 minus 6. Okay, so 8 times A, this will give us 8A minus 9 times B is minus 9B. Minus 5 times A is minus 5A. Then 4 times B will give us 4B. And this is equal to 7 minus 6. Now, when we quit the entries, 8A minus 9B is equal to 7. This is equation 1. The minus 5a plus 4b is equal to minus 6, and this is our equation 2. So you only solve these two equations simultaneously. And when you do that, the values of a and b will come out, and that will be your point. That is all. That will be your point. Now, if you have 8a minus 9b equals 7 to be equation 1, and you have minus 5a plus 4b is equal to minus 6 to be your equation 2. Now, we can solve this by the elimination approach, but in doing that, we have to multiply 
equation one by five then multiply equation two by eight when you refer to my video on simultaneous equation you understand why we are doing that i only want the coefficient of the a term to be the same so that i can add the two because this is negative and this is positive when i add the two a will be gone through elimination then we can find b now if you are multiplying the whole of equation one by five five times eight a will give us 40 we are 40 a then five times minus nine you give us minus 49 b five times seven will give us 35 this will now be equation three then eight times this will also give us minus 40 a eight times plus this will give us 32 b and eight times minus six will give us minus 48 and this is equation four so we try to solve these two equations simultaneously by adding equation 3 to equation 4. So we see equation 3 plus equation 4. Minus 40 plus 40 will give us 0. I guess by now you understand why we're doing that. So minus 40 plus 40 will give us 0. Then we have uh, 32 plus minus 45b. This is the same as minus 45b plus 32b. And this will give you minus 13b. And this will, is equal to minus 48 plus 35 will also give you minus 13. So if you want to find B, you divide by minus 13 by minus 13, and B will give us 1. So now that we have B to be equal to 1, then we take B back into any of the equations at all, and the value of A will be out. Now, assuming we are using the first equation, 8A minus 9B is equal to 7. Now we have 8A minus 9. B, don't forget, B is now 1, and this is equal to 7. So if 8a is equal to, okay, so we have 8a is equal to 7 on the right, minus 9 times 1 will be minus 9. So on the right will be plus 9. And this is 8a to be equal to 16. We are trying to find a divided through by 8, by 8. And a will now be 8 into 16 is 2 times, is twice. So a equals 2 and b equals 1. That means that the point is 2, 1. Take note, it's not 1, 2. The point is rather 2, 1, because we said that the point should be equal to A, B. We use A, B for the point. So the A coordinate is 2 and the B is 1. So the point will now be 2, 1. The point will now be 2, 1. So in general, that is how we solve the second part of the question. That's how we solve the second part of the question. So the point will be 2, 1, because A is 2, and B is one. And that will be all for now on this particular episode. Thank you.